hello friends welcome to my channel code blocks in this video i want to discuss another wipro telnx problem and that problem is the string decoder okay the problem if so the question is you are given you are provided with a string which is a sequence of one and zero okay you are provided with a string which contains only one and zero and uh, this sequence is encoded version of english word uh, here each alphabet is represented by a sequence of one that means one is represented as single one uh, B is represented as a double one, C is represented to triple one. In this way, uh, the Z is represented with 26 one that are um, sequentially, sequence, twin, uh, sequence of 26 one, okay. So, and here 0, zero is rep uh, helps us to distinguish between two alphabets. Now, check this input, okay. Here 1 and then 0, okay. So, 1 means A and this zero helps uh, us to distinguish between two alphabets okay and then one one and then again zero double one means it is written as b and then triple one and then zero this means c okay so this is the problem and the to solve this problem we uh, the, our main logic behind this problem is we have to take in character array okay character array that uh, that holds uh, from a to at zero point uh, index it contains a at zero uh, one it contains b in this way at um, 26 uh, index it contains z okay and after that we have to uh, take another a string string and uh, that contains the uh, decoded uh, alphabet okay that means the resulting string and we have to create a count variable count is equal to minus one initially now we have to take a for loop uh, to traverse or to access the string element okay so we have to take uh, for loop integer is equal to zero uh, less than str dot uh, length and then i plus plus that means this string and now now in that case we have to inside this for loop we have to check uh, whether the um, character or the alphabet is one or not if it is alphabet if it is alphabet okay then we we have to uh, in, uh, increase the value of count okay count plus plus we have to check the sequence of uh, count how many one uh, are present in the sequence okay and after that uh, if it's not alphabet that means we, we get an zero in that case we have to take a variable character ch is equal to we have to get uh, array of count okay that means array of count means uh, suppose initially that means again one okay and one means initially count is zero minus one and for first element we get one that means we have to increase the value of count that means zero now count becomes zero and after that in the second case then i mean in the second alphabet that is uh, that is is here uh, zero okay zero and now we have to come to the else loop and uh, we have to found that array of count means array of zero we have to found the element that means the the alphabet that are present in the zero index here count means index it is the index okay at zero at zero index what which is represent one which is store here um, it is i think one okay so uh, here ch is equal to one and now we have to again uh, store this uh, character into the resulting string and after that we have to again uh, initialize re initialize count as minus one and we have to close this for loop again for i is equal to zero this one happens and for i is equal to one i is equal to in this way this loop continues and finally we have to return the string resulting string okay. return answer in this way you can uh, solve this problem now comes to coding session okay so our first task is to uh, take a character array okay and uh, first take in character array and to give it size is 27 and now inside this character array we have to store uh, the alphabets okay the uppercase alphabets okay 
and, uh, and before going to this we have to initialize capital A is equal to 65 that means the ASCII value of A capital A is 65 and uh, for integer i is equal to 0 i less than 27 i plus plus okay so now in the zeroth position we are storing a okay so for that case array of i is equal to we have to type cast here because hey a is an in integer value that's why we have to type cast and it's a type casting value that means 65 its um, character is capital a and plus plus that means in the next loop we store b in the next loop in we store in the one position zeroth position we store a in, in the one, uh, first position we store uh, b in the second position we store uh, c in this way in the 26 position we store z capital z okay now our uh, next task is to we have to uh, take a string resulting string okay integer answer is equal to and now after that we have to initialize a variable declare initialize a variable if integer count is equal to minus one and now we have to traverse the string okay so integer i is equal to zero i less than str dot length and i plus plus and we have to first of all we have to check that the um, that the uh, character first character of the characters are one or zero if it is one then we have to increase the value of one or you can say we can count that it is a one sequence of one so str dot character at of i double equals to one if it is one then we have to in case the value of count okay and if it is not one then in that case we have to extract uh, the uh, characters we take a variable character series we have to extract the um, uh, character that means uh, that are present at the current uh, that the count index okay array of count suppose uh, first of all we have one and then zero that means uh, our count is one and uh, uh, initialize count is minus one and then uh, for uh, i is equal to one we increase the value of count that means zero at the zero position we are storing one so here character is equal to one okay so in in the carrier of count means here we extracting the value at the counts index okay that means at the count position uh, which uh, we extract the character which are present in the count count position in the particular array okay and now we store uh, add uh, add uh, the character into the string and uh, ch and now again we have to reinitialize count as minus one because in the next loop we have to again um, count the sequence of one okay and finally we have to return answer that means we have to return the string and now we have to check output So we have to type over the input string that means one zero one one zero and one 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 zero. Okay. So it is showing you a, b, and c. Okay. So first, uh, first is one. Okay. That means uh, it represents capital A, and then after zero, it distinguishes to an alphabet, and after that, uh, the sequence of one is AR two. Okay. That's why it represents B, and then after that, it is a sequence of three one. That means it represents C. Okay. 